Look at all the time, brothers! Oh! Oh, I was gonna say no sacrifice! Stop eating his ass, bro! I have been a Battlefield fan since Bad Company 2, which isn't really that impressive compared to the vocal minority that is the Battlefield 2 boomers, but the Battlefield community seems to have a consistent love-hate relationship with the series, myself included. With each entry of the series, it becomes increasingly clear that DICE doesn't really care about the core identity of the series they established, and instead attempts to lure players into their games with trendy gimmicks like the beloved surprise mechanics and operators, who are very well balanced, very well voiced. That was something, right? <laughs> and very well not meant to sell numerous skins and melee animations through microtransactions. With Battlefield 2042's player base dropping like a sack of potatoes and corporate greed falling apart at the seams, it's about time the indie developers drop a stone cold stunner on this dying franchise and took the reins for themselves. Well, I've got the game that can do just that. Introducing Battlebit Remastered. This game isn't even an early access yet, and it is blowing my mind. It takes those large-scale battles of the Battlefield series, mixes in some hardcore elements from games like Insurgency Sandstorm and Squad, it has a hint of destruction from games like Teardown and Red Faction Guerrilla, and mixes it all into the super immersive, war-torn hell of an experience. Battlefield influences are clearly noticeable here with each class present, Assault, Medic, Engineer, Support, and Recon, all with their respective weapon loadouts. The number of weapons is limited, especially the support class which only has two primary weapons, but this is understandable given how early this game is in development and the core gameplay needs to take priority. The weapon customization is fairly diverse and is locked behind a kill-based progression system, whereas the weapons themselves are unlocked by simply raking up through points accumulated through general gameplay. I especially enjoy the aptly named Fuck You sight. What I really enjoy about the classes are that every action each class takes requires a commitment. In the Battlefield game, support players could throw down a box of ammo and just magnetize ammo to a nearby player, and they could draw from that whenever they reload. In Battlebit Remastered, your magazines retain ammunition, meaning you have to make your rounds count or else you're going to be putting in half-sized mags. In hairy situations, you can double tap the reload button to drop the magazine and pick it up later, but there's a chance you could lose track of the magazine in the heat of the battle, and then you're left with one less magazine. Restocking on a support class's ammo box requires walking up to the box to interact with it, and it only resupplies the ammo in the magazines you're currently carrying. I really like this feature of having to actively accept aid from teammates, as it encourages more communication and camaraderie between teammates. Speaking of communication... Don't die! I will have you! I will have you! Yep, Battlebit has proximity-based voice chat. Sometimes you get people blurring loud music and using voice chat as a way of trolling other people like many other games with proximity chat. I love hard base. But most of the time, I had a great experience hearing other players get immersed into the same chaotic atmosphere that I was immersed in. This game is better than the new Battlefield game. Heck yeah. How's the playtest? This is a play, play test not even out yet, better than the Battlefield. It was nice to see players audibly enjoying the game, and so far this game seems to have a really passionate and fun community, goofing off at times but also communicating with other players, calling out enemy positions, and directing teammates to ammo and health boxes. I even brushed up on my Russian to mess around with enemies in the European servers. <laughs> I hope he said something nice. The added proximity chat makes the medic class in this game feel amazing. Every class is given three bandages to heal either themselves or other teammates, and can even be used to revive teammates without having to be a medic or be in the same squad. 
but the medic class can bandage and revive players faster and gets a whopping 20 bandages to use. Like the other class abilities in this game, healing is not as quick as spamming the left mouse button and being able to revive an entire squad within 5 seconds as a single medic like in Battlefield 1. Even with the increase in healing speed, medics have to commit time to render aid and are completely vulnerable in the process. The game makes reviving teammates way more immersive by allowing you to drag their bodies to safety, ensuring both you and your teammate can get out of there alive. I've seen a lot of medics in Battlefield games just sitting behind a contested point, just spamming revives in the middle of choke points to farm experience, whereas I haven't really seen that in Battlebit. Playing as a medic in this game really feels like you're playing through Hacksaw Ridge, risking your life to dodge enemy fire to save your buddies, and being showered in thank yous in the process. Nah, I don't think the revive is possible. No? I I'm just bleed out. Oh, this feels amazing, bro. When you yeah, die, it just feels so good. I love you. The cinematic moments in this game are elevated by destruction elements taken from Teardown. Almost every building and structure can be chipped away until it ultimately crumbles to the ground, and the sledgehammer can break small holes in walls to ambush enemies and get those tight angles like you're playing Rainbow Six Siege. All in all, this game is fucking awesome, and the fact that this game isn't even in early access and blows 2042 out of the water is a testament to how important indie devs are to video games as a medium. I'm gonna post the links to their Patreon and Discord pages because they're doing a really good job here, and they're very well deserving of the funding and support. There's gonna be another playtest next month, so I'll definitely be marking my calendar, and I hope many more people do as well. The Battlefield community needs this game. So yeah, that's about it. Here's some more clips of my experience with the game. Oh, thank you, my friend. You are a hero. <laughs> what happened? What happened? What did, what's it like to lick a bald person's head? Is it like sucking on a marble? Or a freshly shaven testicle? Why would you want to lick your own head? Thank you! You're a good soldier! <laughs> Hi, thank you for watching the video. This one's a bit different than the ones that I usually make, but this is a special game and I feel like it needed a special video. I even swapped to DaVinci Resolve instead of Sony Vegas and it only crashed once, which is nice because Sony Vegas crashes like 10 fucking times in a single video. It's really annoying. So if you guys like the more general shitposty gameplay type videos that I make, I will link some up here. And if you're a fan of the solo metalcore project Gilead that I have, you can check that out too. So. 
yeah, I, I've never fucking done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna leave. Bye.